reverse into onto the stuff that needs to go and take it with me and then AI just proceeds on to the next yard and so I look at it as an efficiency thing not as a an, an a logic problem you know, can I fit the square peg in the round hole um, and in spite of everything the only thing I found that's overwhelmed me is the amount of freight I have arriving at the exchange is more than the exchange has room for and I thought oh that sucks um, but it seems you get um, you know it, it does a delivery at six o'clock in the morning okay there's all your freight you look at it and you say well I'm missing half of it um, actually it's not a problem um, you're missing half of it but if you take all of that out um, I think I just dropped some stuff off at 10 o'clock local stuff off at 10 o'clock and all of a sudden I got credited for all of that and everything that had been missing at 6 o'clock appeared so sort of oh no my big freight locomotive's right down the other end of the line and you know beyond Bryson and now I've got a load more traffic for it to uh, to take and ah so my big locomotive did do an awful lot of travel that day because it had to head all the way back to Whittier to pick up the stuff that wasn't there at six o'clock so that um, and then all the way back down the other end of the line where it all needed to be delivered fortunately taking all the stuff home wasn't an issue because um, everything timed out exactly right the problem was was I had more stuff to return than I had yard space for so oh well. well this has been a fun little job how are we doing with lime I've still got 1200 litres but I'm going to drop this back at the farm and I think I'm going to take this over to the store oh it's actually I'm gonna leave I'm gonna break my time rule it's five o'clock and I'm going at times one it should be going at times three but that was my mistake Thing. I think I'm going to get most of this completed by end of day. Anyway, does that need lime in it? No. Okay, we can turn that off. And actually, you know what I can do? I could drop this over by the little uh, Kubota. take it back to the yard when you know it can take the line back I'm gonna sell this because I need the cash oh okay I'm gonna put the lime in that field there now I am gonna need to lime next month but we're gonna have silage to sell next month and that's only if the um, the oats are ready to forage so I'm not going to cover the um, the whole crop yet. Um, what we're doing now is I'll leave it overnight. Tomorrow, if the oats can be um, collected, we'll do that. We'll dump that in that silo all at, all at once, and then I can compact it and cover it although it seems to be bugged which is a little bit sad the bunker should tell me how much I've got in it and it's not so that's the issue um, normally it would yeah it would read 64,000 or 66,000 litres of 
stuff and um, yeah, five percent compacted. You, you drive up and down it a few times, hundred conveyors percent compacted. You can cover it over and. Um, it'll then ferment for a calendar day. Okay, we are here. Let's um, have a look at this. It's 21,000. Condition is good. I can repair I can't afford to paint it. Uh, that's a one for one. So I'm just going to sell it. That gives me some operating capital. So now I can do all the things I need to do today and I can uh, I can pay the loan payment. And as I said, I didn't I think that that lime spreader is a little bit buggy. It seems to not use a lot of lime. Okay, set destination. I'm going to zoom in because I have had many issues with uh, that. Okay, so we lined the field. Now I need to put some corn in the field. I mean, I'm fairly certain we'll be finished by 6 or 7 o'clock game time. Oh, do I know? You know what? I don't think I've got any seed in that thing. Some seed when we pull out. Okay, so let's go plant some corn, maize, whatever you want to call it. Oops, that'll do. No, nope. refill. is very sensitive. There we go. You have to watch the the lids on the uh, seed tanks and as soon as they disappear you are in the area that it will load um, seed from. But uh, sometimes it's yeah, blink and you miss it. Okay. Oh, you know where the uh, Renault is? It's over there by the, uh, the Kubota. Hi, dude. I guess I, I guess I can take it home myself. Now. And planting corn in this field is going to result in a fairly straightforward um, passage between the fields. As I've said before, this is not a fun piece of equipment to use here. Okay, let's go. Dodge that. I think the Renault's run into the hedge now, and so 
won't recover. Lift and oh. Okay. Let's get you. Go. Really? It's not. Honest. Fine. So I could set the uh, planter off on a, its own job, but whatever. We'll drive. It's not like we've got much else to do. Um, I am going to, we're gonna seed that field or plant that field. It's a direct planter. Um, and Patchwork, good morning. Welcome to the last stream of 2023. And then once, once I've done that, I'll roll it and we can proceed to tomorrow because we now have the money to do it with. And then next day we will be uh, doing the thing with the doits, with the spraying and the, the fun. Got too many bits of equipment again. I don't have enough room for them all. Whoops. So I'll just reverse into the big M and uh, lots of money damage. Okay, we are here. Let's do this. Let's get this field done. And this has got good good speed on it. So we're not going to be able to plant anything from the oat field except grass. And it will be mm, it'll be a month late. So the question would be, do I want to put grass in that field? Or do I want to wait until the end of the year, or yeah, you know, the next time I cut grass before I? Uh, that was useless. Straighten up the tractor first, and then back it up. There we go. to check the, uh, the environmental score on this field once we're done. I mean, it was literally, we've got the soil data and everything else was 50%. Um, although we did harvest it and I'm guessing we lost a lot on the um, the stuff, the thing that didn't happen. Um, 
nitrogen and pH is probably not ideal on this field. But it may be better than 50%, and I haven't checked on that yet either. That's better. farming equipment and dubious driving skills. So I guess once we're done with this field I will unload the cedar so that um, the seed is available for either implements. Okay, let's drive forwards a little bit and get the edge. Okay, yeah, with the uh, added. Added uh, dust and grime uh, can be a little difficult to see what's going on behind you. I think we've got uh, dust from the implements, and then I've also got a mod that uh, makes the uh, tractor exhaust visible, more visible. The more the older the tractor gets, and the worse it's. Uh, maintenance condition is, allegedly, and we rest a bit. So yeah, 10 o'clock, so we've probably been going an hour and a half. Bit of an, as I said before, a little bit of an overlap, but at least we're we're filling in the gaps. What I might do, I might just go straight here. It's very nice that they did improve. I remember back in Farm Sim 17, I always used a cultivator and separate cedar that, and the cedar did not cultivate. And the reason I did that was because of the way seed usage worked in Farm Sim 17. It's so basically if you are using a cedar that doesn't um, direct drill then doing something like this and then driving over part of what was already planted would not waste seed. It would waste fertilizer, it would waste lime, but it wouldn't waste seed. So I'm using 75 or 80% of the cedar. My seed usage would be 80% of what it's absolutely capable of. But if you were using if you were using a direct drill, then it would dig up the seed that was already in the ground and replace it with a new set of seed. So you would use more seeds if you weren't doing exactly straight square fields and exact precision on the um, each row as you went down. Now, Farm Sim 19, they fixed that so that um, 
if you're using a direct drill, it wouldn't dig up the seed if you were planting the same thing. So, so long as I'm planting corn in this field, I'll only use corn, I'll only use seed where there is no corn currently in the field. Um, if I said, oh no, I didn't actually want to plant corn here, I wanted to plant sorghum here, and switched it to a sorghum, then it would rip up all of the, uh, the corn seed and replace it with a full working width of sorghum seed or sorghum crop. But then with Farm Sim 22, they made that general improvement with the fertilizer and lime. So now, if you've got automatic application on, it will not. Um, it will not spread stuff where stuff has already been spread, which is a good thing, I think. Although I'm not sure how realistic that is with a spreader, it's obviously very realistic with a sprayer because you can control the spray heads and the spray heads only cover a limited area. I would have to talk to one of my farming friends to find out the truth of that statement, obviously. But, uh, yeah. I think it was Farm Sim 17, or says Farm Sim 19 gave us the adjustable width spreaders. And sprayers so you could turn off the outside edge and uh, and as you went, yeah as you went across the field you could narrow how much you you sprayed or spread into and then it became a trick of well what I want to do is I want to effectively I want to spread the headlands and once the headlands are spread, work my way to the middle so that uh, I can adjust the width for what remains. Now, with a spreader, that wasn't too bad, but with a sprayer, that could be critical because if I've got a 30 foot sprayer and my, my field is 50 foot wide, then I'm going to have to figure something out because I might not be able to spray 10 foot outside of the field boundary because vegetation's there, big vegetation that gets in the way, which I'm very good at running into. Yeah, I think my preference for Railroad are over, um, what's the other one, uh, Railroads Online. Um, I'm not sure I'm really into building the tracks. Um, I'm more into, um, I'm into solving the traffic problem. And uh, as I said, yeah, building the tracks. Mm. That's kind of the boring side of things. Plus, I think I'm a little bit tarnished on railroads online because it, it was a pre-release version and laying tracks could be incredibly um, frustrating. At least a lot of people who were putting out YouTube videos were seemingly getting frustrated with laying tracks and they said well I'm gonna do this offline and yeah I spent 10 hours getting this bit done because it just wouldn't do at least you're not there, there's no money in railroads online for you to waste well at least building tracks and it's the the bugs in the game are not costing you anything probably a good thing. 
I hate it when a game robs you of money just because it went wrong. Bug happened. Hey, you just lost half your money. Have a nice day. So, no. Yes, and that that's that's the thing. I mean it's like I mean it's been many years, but I did I did enjoy playing a game called Lemmings where you basically had these little creatures that came out of a trapdoor, walked in a straight line towards their inevitable doom, and you had to build steps, dig holes um, etc to get them to the exit point which was another you know, trap door into the next world type of thing um, oh, you could spend hours just figuring out how to get you know the target is you've got 100 lemmings and you've got to get at least 75 through the exit And so, and so some of the levels were um, very difficult in that you know you you had a timer on something so for example you could set up a lemming with a bomb to blow a hole in a wall but there was a five second countdown so you had to click that lemming at exactly the right time that it would get to the wall and blow a hole in the wall and not hit the wall, turn around, and walk into a bunch of his friends, which would then be taken out by the explosion. Which is kind of a bad thing. Alrighty, we have seeding done. And I must get that field rolled before tomorrow. We have 10% seed left I'm guessing oh jeez and now we are completely off 